Hello everyone, I'm Manola Silva Hansen and I am the creator of MSH Publishings and the author and illustrator of Clover Dreams, a children's book that allows kids to delve in art and performing arts. So the problems that I'm going to be tackling and facing are one, testing environments. Testing is not a fair measurement of a kid's intelligence. Standardized tests are dehumanizing. They reduce human experience to a set of numbers. The second problem I'm going to be facing is that schools only target one type of learner. According to the theory of multiple intelligences, there are eight types of learners in the human population. Out of the eight, only two are targeted in public school systems, and that is the logical, mathematical, and the linguistic. This means six types of learners are being left out and unincluded. This then leads me to my third problem, this creates a less inclusive environment. Kids who might learn visually or actively might feel left out from the other kids that just catch onto the knowledge super fast. They may even feel less smart because of this. So what is my solution? Well, one, it will build self-esteem. By seeing yourself represented through a story by an important character, being the main character is very important for children to see. This will help them find joy and feel excited for what's next in their life. They might have not even known that it's possible to be an artist. This will help them feel equal and feel that they actually have a purpose and that's creating art. So what makes my book different than the rest? Well, for starters, I am the creator. I wrote and illustrated the book from the beginning to the end. I designed each character and added my own little artistic touch to every single page. I'm also a student at New World School of the Arts where I'm learning to create my own business and I have knowledge on graphic design and how to work with color. My book is a great price, $9.99. When you look at other prices of books, they can be as high as $20, $30, $40. I wanna make sure that Clover Dreams is available in every single house. This is also my story. I know exactly how it is to be Clover. I am Clover. I've always struggled in my academic classes. I remember seeing Ds, Fs every single time I had a test. But once I went to art school and I had that balance of art and academic, my grades and academics started to go up. Not only is this for visual learners like me, but it also targets musical learners or people that learn through each other by talking or by learning outside. So my channels will be one, local bookstores and what we have down here in South Florida, books and books. Pop-ups where I can do read aloud sessions and get one-on-one -on -one interactions with the children. And through online e-commerce like Instagram or my website right here. I already have a section on my website where I advertise Clover Dreams and I talk about what my business plan is. And here I can actually sell the book. So my customer segments. The ages that will be more interested in my book is four to 10. Four is usually when kids start to pick up books. And after some research, I have come to the conclusion that by 10 years old, kids start to pick up chapter books. So like I said before, the behavior from these kids might be that they have more artistic perspective or that they're part of the other six learners. Like I said earlier, Clover Dreams will be sold starting in local bookstores, but then nationally. So the lifestyle of these kids might be the bottom 25 students. These kids might have a low self-esteem, loss of hope, learning disabilities, and might have negative sentiments towards school. This could be because they have a bigger interest in arts and they're just not having access to it. The value out of this is providing the world with a different perspective and showing them the possibilities with art. So up next is my cost structure. In a summary, each book costs $10. So to meet my financial goal of 500, I'd have to sell 78 units per month. This is added up with the manufacturing, shipping, keeping up with my website and phone utilities. So what am I up to? Well, I'm currently the author and illustrator of Clover Dreams. I am a junior at New World School of the Arts. I'm also taking entrepreneurship with my teacher, Mr. Paris, where I've learned how to create a business. And I've also learned how to manage stocks and how to invest. I've also created a business where you can see here at www.lemahukina.com. Thank you so much for watching. You can reach me over here at my website, my email, uh, my number, and I also have an art Instagram. Thank you.